To add an assignment to Blackboard, you need to toggle to Edit View in your content collection. And under the Selective Custom Thing to Add button, you're going to choose, instead of a learning unit, an assignment. Click Go after you've done that. And it'll take you into the assignment creation. Give it a nice name, directions. You want to, if you want to use the black, Blackboard gradebook, you can give it a number of points. You can set a due date if you'd like. And then you can submit and click OK. And you'll actually have this assignment down here. And you'll note that the assignment actually has a view complete assignment link under it. Your students will also see this. We'll toggle back to display view here. Your students will see that view complete assignment. So they go in and click on that link. They can write you a no nice note. Hey, this is the best paper ever. Look at the shiny report cover. And then they can attach a local file of whatever, whatever description they, 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 they would like. Um, And then they need to click the Submit button. If they click Save, it goes into, into limbo, and they'll have to come back and find it again and actually submit it. You don't see it unless they click Submit. But once they click Submit, it is turned in. And in fact, actually, when they go back into View Complete the Assignment, they will actually have an option to see what they turned in and what they wrote to you. Um, and you, when you go into the Control Panel, into the Grade Center, can actually see the assignments turned in. If you go over to my best paper here, let me scroll down and find, no, I may not be on the list because I'm teaching, but assuming that, 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 that I were on the list, I would have a little green check exclamation point here indicating that my work still needed to be graded. Once everyone turned it in, I could hit the, hit the drop down menu on this column and choose assignment file download. It'll take me in here. I click Select All. There are none to select right now, but we will ignore that for the time being. And Submit. And it would generate a download link for me. I can actually then download a zip file containing all of the assignments automatically named with the student's name. So I would, I would then have all of the student's files in one place in a single click.